What's up raccoon lovers? This video will be a much shorter one compared to my normal devlogs and I will go over the diet selection tool. I briefly talked about this tool in my last video but I've made some upgrades since then and I think it's worth diving a bit deeper to understand how it really works. The idea is rather simple. You move this big circle around in order to select whatever food types your species will be able to eat. And different parts of the diet map have different different types of food. Up here we have grass, moss, even leaves. Uh, over here we might have roots and nuts and mushrooms in the lower left. In the center fruits and berries and down below we have more meat insects. It's also possible to improve your species by adding more of these diet selectors. Now we've added four of them and this makes it possible to select more types of food. For example, our beloved raccoon friend here can now not only eat only mushroom, but also meat. And uh, that makes him a scary raccoon. He might be coming for you. <laughs> Just kidding. He's friendly. He'll probably stick to his mushrooms. Now that we have selected a bunch of food types, there is the matter of food efficiency. And with that I mean how much of the energy contained in a food can a creature actually use. Scrolling down we can see a summary for each food type we've selected with the circles and its corresponding food efficiency by this bar and this number here. The reason why they are all different is because food types which are closer to the center of a circle, for example this mushroom is very close to the center of this circle, has higher efficiency. So if I move this so that the mushroom is at the edge of the circle, you can see that the food efficiency drops and now it increases as I go to the, more to the center. You can also stack these on top of each other in order to improve efficiency. So if I move this from the mushroom to the grass, we can see that the grass is now 80%. But let's make our shroom loving raccoon a bit less scary by removing the selectors for the, for the meat and move it so that it's really good at eating mushrooms. There, our raccoon friend should be all happy now and that's it for this video, see you in the next one.